Now we're gonna tackle the move to random location and I'm moving my comment down further. Okay, the only thing missing here is the move to random location and it takes a random object. So I recommend go ahead and create method, uh, but I'm gonna go and code this one myself. So this is gonna be a void. All right, now rand is a random object. All right, you need to import the right, let's see, java.util.random in order for this to work. Um, I had already imported that on lab four objects. All right, once you have that, rand dot. So what can we get? We want an int, which is gonna be next int. There's two choices. Don't use this because if you look, there is two to the 32nd possible int values so it's like, I don't know, billions of billions. Uh, we need a, an integer between zero and width and zero and height. So let's look at the one with the bound, which turns a pseudo random. Don't worry about that. Just means random for our purposes between zero and the specified value. Uh, so you won't actually hit the max value. So let's go ahead and try this. So it's gonna be between zero and a max value. Um, so we want to go with, this is going to be X. So I'm going to do with plus one. Um, you do need to prefix this with the name uh, lab for objects dot with. Um, and of course, what do you want to do with this? Well, we can actually just go right ahead and set X equals right here. And let me just go ahead and finish this off. I probably could have spelled that correctly, but just to be extra, extra safe, boom. All right, so it should set the ran x2 random value. And back down to here. So I move to random location, then draw and then sleep. Notice I don't do an erase until I've drawn 40 of these in random locations. So again, I did not fix my draw from before. So your draw needs to be fixed. All right, I do have random locations and a bad draw, uh, but your random location needs to not just be random X, but also random Y. Now, if you're wondering, well, I don't check to see that X is between certain values, but I actually did because I was very careful. I read the next int. Next int gives us a number between zero which is good, zero is okay, up to the width. Now it didn't include width, so I did a plus one, so it can be all the way up to width, not just one less than width. Um, it worked pretty fine if you just had width. Okay, so this should get the object moving around and then erasing everything, and then we will be uh, doing it Oh, we got to get speed. So not just set speed, but now we're going to need to get speed. We're going to change the color and do a few other things.